Hi everyone, my name is Stephen Dempsey. Layers are one of the most important things to understand in Affinity Photo. It's where most of the power lies and gives you endless control over your images. Let's take a closer look. When you open an image, by default, it's put on its own layer. A layer can stand by itself or be part of a stack of elements in Affinity Photo. Layers contain adjustments, filters, shapes, images, and so on. If I click on the text tool in the toolbar on the left, I can add some text to this document. In the Layer Studio, a new layer has appeared above our photo layer. Although it looks like the text is directly on the image, it's actually on a separate layer. You can see this when I click on this checkbox to turn the visibility on and off. When a layer is placed on the top of the stack, the layers beneath are affected. Let me show you what I mean. If I create another layer by placing an image, you can see a new layer appears on top and the layers below are now obscured. I'll undo this by going to the bottom right of the screen and clicking on the left arrow. The layer could be partially hidden if the layer above has transparent areas. As you can see, the text covers part of the layer beneath. Where there is no text, it's transparent and does not affect the other layer. There are no limits to how many layers you can have in your document. Just remember that the layer order is what's most important. To reposition a layer, just click and drag it above or below another layer. As I said, if you are dragging it below other layers, make sure it's not obscured. When you have many layers in an image, it can get quite messy and confusing. In order to stay organized, it's a good idea to name each layer as you create it. To name a layer, select it and then click on the circle with the three dots to get to the layer options. Click on the layer name and change it to make it more descriptive. You can now return to the layer studio and see your renamed layer. There are a number of ways to select layers. To select a single layer, make sure you have the Move tool activated in the toolbar and then tap on any element in the document. As you tap each element, the layer will be selected. You can see that in the Layer Studio. You can also select the layer directly in the Layer Studio. If you want to select more than one layer, you can swipe each one. The same swiping gesture will deselect that layer. Another way of selecting multiple layers is to tap the first one and then with two fingers tap another. The layers in between will also be selected. If you need to deselect one of those layers, just swipe it. In order to keep your layers neat and manageable, you can group them together. To do this, select the layers you would like to group and then tap or click on the group icon. When you click on the little arrow, you can see the layers inside. You can name the group the same way you name a layer. Go to the layer options and click on the word group. Rename it and that change will be reflected in the layer studio. To ungroup, make sure the group is selected and then click on the icon again. Another way to stay organized if you have a lot of layers is to give them a color. For example, I might make all my brightness adjustments one particular color. To do this, select the layer, click on the circle with the three dots to go to layer options, and then click on one of the color swatches at the bottom. When you return to the layer studio, you can see the color next to the layer. When you're working with multiple layers, it can be easy to select the wrong one and move it by mistake. To avoid this, you can select the layer in question, go to the layer options and then click the lock button. Alternatively, and what I like to do, is enable the lock unlock icon in the layer studio. You can do that by going up to the layers menu and select show unlocked. 
Now you'll see a little padlock icon next to each layer. When you click on it, the layer will be locked and when you click on it again, it will be unlocked. You can delete a single layer by selecting it in the Layer Studio and clicking on the trash can icon. If you'd like to delete multiple layers at once, swipe across the ones you want to delete and then click on the trash can. I hope this was helpful. I've only just skimmed the surface of how to work with layers, but having a fundamental understanding is key to mastering Affinity Photo. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing in general, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.